What's going on guys? This is Pete coming to you for the Rev Room with an unboxing review of a product that I think is going to change the landscape of video gaming as we know it. The DualSense wireless controller for the PlayStation 5. Let's get into this. All right, so got a little slip cover going on. I know that Sony's been doing this for a lot of their new products, and it kind of sucks because oh, I just ripped the whole thing. Ah, there you go. All right, we're gonna have to do this in one take. <laughs> box within a box action going on. They have the main attraction right here. We'll get to that in a second. You got your. Uh, wireless controller manual, but who really needs that? And uh, what else we got? Nothing else. No charging cable, no nothing. I gotta say that's a knock. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. A little, little envelope action, yeah. All right, so, oh, the unveiling. Ooh, this feels nice. Okay, all right. So first thing that I notice, Every single thing that everybody said about the grip texture that's on the back is absolutely true. When you run your fingers along it, like your fingernail, you can feel that it's not rubberized, but for some reason the, the laser engraved grip texture makes it feel rubberized. It's really strange. And it's almost microscopic. You can't really even tell. The grip texture, hold on, let me get up close for this one. The grip texture here, on the back, oh, see that? Those are all super tiny. You can kind of see it like here in the shadowy area. Those are all super tiny X's, O's, triangles, and squares. Really awesome, really great attention to detail there. Something that I really do like here also, oh, these buttons are great. Okay, so. If you check these out, the buttons are very reminiscent of almost like an Xbox 360 controller or an, an Xbox One controller. Uh, with that being said, you know, like they're encased in this clear hard plastic, which is really nice. And it feels really great because they feel they feel exactly like old school PlayStation controller buttons as far as the shape of them. You know, they're not super convexed like uh, the Xbox controllers are, but they're nice and flat just rounded enough that you can press them very responsive now i just came off of playing some cyberpunk 2077 on the playstation 4 so i was using the the dualshock 4 controller and although they feel very similar the thumbsticks i gotta say there is definitely more grip what with this new grip texture on the surrounding area here Definitely a lot more grip that may change because we all know that the thumbsticks are one of the first things to get worn out in a controller But we'll see we'll see um, It's almost completely hidden now because it matches the same color But there's the new PlayStation button so that's gonna take you to the home screen and all that one new feature on this See this little hole right there There's a microphone for party chat built right into the controller So you actually don't need a headset if you don't have one yet uh, you can get away with using the one that's been embedded in the controller. And this button right here, it's going to light up when, uh, you know, you connect it to your console. Here is going to mute the microphone that's built into the controller. I don't own a PlayStation 5 because they're near impossible, but my little brother does own one, so I got some time to play with his. Um, now, he had, uh, when he had connected the controller, I should say, uh, the speaker that's embedded in the controller you're going to notice is much louder and much clearer than the one that's in the DualShock 4 if you're familiar with the PlayStation 4 controller. But very utilized in a lot of the games that are out. And it seems like they're really going with this. And it's a really solid idea that keeps you really invested into the gaming experience. Uh, I really like the ergonomics. The whole... It really feels great in my hands. Now, I don't have the largest hands. I guess you'd say I have like medium hand sizes. Really feels great in the hands. It's actually perfect. Like everything that everyone was knocking the PlayStation 1 through 3 controllers about for being too small 
and the DualShock 4 controller for just being not quite large enough, this really nails it on the head. And especially because if you see the narrow points at the end, it's really great for your pinky because it's less that your pinky has to wrap around, unlike the DualShock 4 controller, which has a big almost knob at the end. Let's get into these triggers here. So these triggers are very springy, very responsive, but what I will say is that when you do connect this to your PlayStation 5 console, now you can connect it to the PS4, but you're missing out on a lot of features. When you do connect it to the PS5 console, these triggers right back here, for certain games, for instance, like Call of Duty or a lot of shooting games, the trigger will actually be harder or easier to press depending on what gun you happen to be using in the game or how they decide to tune it, you know, the developers decide to tune the game. So it'll actually be, like, difficult to press down for certain guns, you know, if it, it... It adds a little more to the realism. So they use haptic feedback, actually, which it tricks your brain. It, I, I believe the way it works is it sends electrical signals through the controller, which, which goes into your hands, and it, it's weird how it tricks your brain into feeling different sensations. For instance, uh, the game that comes bundled in with the PS5 called uh, Astrobot, um, you can feel in each individual handle of the controller each footstep that the character decides to make as you're moving him. So you could feel each individual footstep, and not only that, but it's almost like you could feel the difference in textures as he's walking across them. So for instance, you can feel the... If your character in the game, Astrobot specifically, because that's the one that I have experience playing, uh, that character, if he's walking on glass, you could feel that it's nice and smooth and it, you could feel the glass. If he's walking on sand, you could feel that it's rough. It's really, really odd, but it's really something you have to feel to really experience. And that, along with the adaptive triggers, which we covered right before, I really, really believe that this is going to change the way like the standard of home console gaming controllers for the entire future of uh, consoles in general. All right, guys, so that's my review and unboxing, very easy, quick unboxing, of the DualSense controller for the PlayStation 5. Just, again, just to, to reiterate, you can use this and connect it to your PS4 console, but you are going to miss out on the adaptive trigger functionality, and you are going to miss out on the uh, haptic feedback functionality. One more thing that I didn't cover quite yet is finally, 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 it's connected via USB-C. So your charging is going to be super fast, and it's going to be much easier to connect it, and you're not going to, oh, which, which side is it? <laughs> None of that no more. So it's going to be a real, real nice experience for you. The battery life, from what I know, is about double that of the PS4 controller, which, to be honest with you, unless you're gaming 24-7, more than enough. And especially with the USB-C fast charging capabilities that that is uh, capable of, you're going to love it. Trust me. Uh, so that's it for the DualSense. This is Pete for the Rev Room. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. God bless everybody on the other side of that screen. Take care.